All right, well, I made some progress on the body here. Um, let me just start with the wheel wells. So I, on all four wheel wells, I have um, uh, basically sanded them down and uh, painted that inside and all the little nooks and crannies that I could reach uh, with uh, rust reformer black paint. So hopefully that will stave off rust coming up from, you know, water, et cetera, that's in the wheel wells. Um, so that looked pretty good. Now the first repair that I did was to cut out a section. This section was pretty messed up and I think it, was, it went something like this. And I, I cut that out and I made out of 22 gauge steel something like this. I made a new uh, piece and I folded it under. And uh, the one thing about this is that it was still indented here when I, I welded it up like this and it was still had a pretty big indent. So I bought some fiberglass um, Bondo. And so I can sand this down and I think this all looks good until about here. And then I'm gonna need another, like, I'm gonna need to come out with more fiberglass Bondo here where it's indented. But where it curves under looks pretty good. And here, the repair on the pillar, so far it looks pretty good. I'll probably grind this down and I'll put a little bit more, uh, you know, maybe normal Bondo so that it's flatter in there. So my next steps, uh, my steps for today, um, I wanted to try to fabricate the piece for here. I'll cut this out, make this a little bit more normal shape to repair and try to uh, put in a piece of metal here that then attaches into the pillar here. Um, so that's piece number one. Um, then I was gonna work on the back end here I'm going to take a little bit of fiberglass Bondo, elevate this section from about here to about here, uh, just um, so that that meets up. Up here it was great meeting the deck lid, then it gets a bigger, bigger gap. Here's the biggest gap, and then it hits this, which is a big-ass bump. So I'm just going to cover this with that, some of that green Bondo and just smooth it down to about halfway up here. And then I'm also, this is also a pretty big dent, so I'll probably use the fiberglass Bondo just to come down on this. And then I think I can start using just the regular Bondo. I don't need quite as much structural support, but I think I can, uh, let's see, coming around here, I have this, so I'll put fiberglass Bondo in this as well because this is a kind of a big hole. Um, and I may, use some fiberglass underneath. Um, I probably need to do something for this hole in the, in the same place on the other side. Um, then I, I do need to fabricate a little piece here for the bottom of this pillar and a little piece here for the very bottom outside of this pillar. Cut out that rust and then clean this up a little bit where I've uh, where I welded this in, I didn't. I went ahead and painted the rust reformer without grinding it or anything, so I have to clean that up. And then I want to clean up the repair on this bumper bracket here because they drilled the holes. This was the previous owner drilled a bunch of holes to put this in, and they welded it in. But there's still extra holes, um, so I can uh, repair that and just make it so water doesn't come pouring into my. Uh, you know, front area there. Um, so that's the progress on the body right now. Um, so, yeah, if you look at that, you can just see how it indents just a little bit in that back lower part. And But I have, you know, how I'll buy as much fiberglass Bondo as I need. And uh, we're gonna pull that out and just uh, make sure that that is shaped, you know, approximately right for when, uh, you know, you can see that it's, it's indented here, comes out here on the back, but then 
it's indented there. So I've got to build that up. Um, it would have been better if my metal fix was uh, shaped better. But uh, the other thing that I'm going to do with the fiberglass Bondo, I'm just going to go into here because there's some holes. I need the structural support. I'll probably just push some into here. And then here, I'm going to use fiberglass Bondo as well because of these holes. And, uh, and then right here, I'm going to use fiberglass Bondo as well because the metal is okay. You know, it's not, you can't push it through or anything, but it's just, it's jagged. I don't want to weld anymore because I blast through it. Fiberglass Bondo should fill those holes and allow me to uh, make all these uh, window frames, um, you know, whole again. All right. All right, let's take a look at what I've done here. I, I used up all of my fiberglass Bondo um, and it's just for the places, you know, to rough in places that need a bunch of structural support. So this is kind of bent. I went around the back here just to give this a little bit of a structure. I'm going to shape this. So this was, um, and I, I elevated this a little bit, but that may need a little bit more eventually. Um, so I'm going to sand this down. I went in here in the groove that I had repaired and pressed this in. Um, right here, it's got a bunch pressed into the, you know, a few the, like the, the weld holes there, as well as over here. Um, so I think I'll be able to sand this out and it'll hold the window. Um, so uh, next was right here, there were some holes and I, actually there's another little one right there that I'll get eventually. You can see the, the, the light coming through. But here, um, and um, I, I did a little bit down here, but you know, I'm not exactly sure what the best, this probably needs a piece of metal to flap over it here. Um, this was rusty, so I just hit it with rust reformer, but I need a, I'm gonna take a, a piece of paper and cut this and make a little template for what that needs to look like on both sides. Actually on three, I have to do that one over there too, and this one. So here, I'll, you know, I'll cut this out and try to make this look good. What I put in here, I don't know, we'll have to see whether I'm gonna weld some metal over top of this or what. Um, this also had a problem here, so I just tucked some of that uh, fiberglass. This, whoever uh, did the repair on the bumper bracket left a bunch of holes, and so I just, smeared this over and I think that'll sand down nicely. I also have it in on the inside. Just want to prevent any possible water from getting in there. Um, I did a little bit here because there was a hole, but it wasn't a big hole worth welding. It was just where a little bit of rust had made it through, like you can see here. Um, then I did, right here I had done a weld repair, but on the other side it was still looking a little pockmarked, so Again, I put, I smeared this on there like that. Um, still have to repair this. That's got to be a metal repair. And then I've, if you look at this big section here, um, that just has a ton of fiberglass smeared onto it. And you can see there's still a little bit of concave shape to this. Um, so I'm going to, you know, I'll probably sand this down, but I've got to, just add like right in here. I've got to add a little bit more. But overall, I think this looks pretty good. Um, so that's the progress that I've got on, <coughs> on, the, um, on the body. I think it's gonna be really nice to eventually have all of these. See, I have to do something here too. Just get a, you know, a little flap of metal to um, go over that. And, uh, you know, I put a little fiberglass in here and I think fiberglass for underneath there where water's going to splash up and everything, I think it's fine. And it doesn't matter if it looks funky here, probably need a, a piece of metal as well as on the other side. And, uh, obviously this one is not looking too great right now. Um, so <clears throat> I have to think about also. And I do have to clamp in the hose 
onto the uh, heater channel and I'm not exactly sure how I can do that if I've already done the repair so what I might have to do is on these front ones where that hose connects in as well as over here because this one is also funky and I'll probably have to cut this a little bit but since I have to get at that hose anyway I just uh, I'd love to be able to get in there and fit a screwdriver in there to um, get a clamp around the hose, which is gonna come up uh, to the defroster here. So maybe I'll just hold off on these front ones until the hose shows up. And then like this as well, um, I would grind this down and do just a little repair here, get that hose in. Um, then, you know, once I sand it, I'll be for the most part done with the outside shaping. Here, it looks like there's some kind of a little crack there um i don't know if i can but think about that i that'll eat through the paint if i don't do anything to treat it so i'll have to think about that um but overall pretty happy with the progress on the outside of the body you know as i just sand sand this down make it flat wire brush it and get it ready for um some primer, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna just take garbage bags or plastic or something like that and I'll tape over the black wheel wells when I start to prime and paint the um, rest of the body. So that's it. Here's the body progress. So I've, so I put on this uh, fiberglass um, Bondo on the side here and I'm sanding it down, but I, I'm gonna have to, um, really smooth that out in order to make it look good. Um, I have uh, continued along welding, doing the final welding here and I have to do this uh, part. I put on some, I had some holes and so I'm putting on some fiberglass in there as well as uh, shoring up these areas here and over there uh, just in the corners just jamming in some uh, fiberglass into there. That's all gonna be covered anyway. Um, then I, I took care of these areas here. Um, you can see the fiberglass on the inside there. I took care of this area here and uh, this area right in here. And then um, the biggest development, I guess, is um, I painted so I had to wire brush, sand, prime, and paint the inside of the, uh, I guess you would call this the trunk, the front trunk. And, um, you know, it's okay. Um, it's about ready for a clear coat. I did black rust reformer all down in there, and I was going to tape it off to keep it nice and black. But I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clear coat this, and then... If I really want that to be cleanly black, I can always go under there and uh, kind of tape it off and, and respray the back side of that. Um, I just got lazy. Um, but, you know, I did, sort of did this. I, I have to sand off this front part here because of these cracks. And so, you know, there were some drips and things there, but it shouldn't matter. Uh, fixed uh, uh, area right here. Um, so, you know, making progress um, I got seam sealer so what I've got to do is um, figure out whether I'm just gonna goop on the seam sealer in here or whether I'm gonna do any more metal repair but uh, you know it's taking shape I also put some uh, of that fiberglass bondo on the repair that I did on the light there so I'll sand that down and that should be good um, I don't know what this is going to look like here in the back, but it was such a, that's such an awkward place to do a metal repair because you can't get to the back of it. So that's why I just smeared um, fiberglass Bondo onto the top of this back area. And um, I may have to smear another coat on there. But um, as I said, I'm going to sand these uh, areas down and that's a nice structural kind of covering should keep sort of water and junk from getting into the back there um, but maybe not uh, exactly what you're supposed to do um, 
this part here looks good. I think with a Dremel and a little bit of uh, filler, I think this is all gonna look good. And I have to do that here on the other side. Um, so I've got to take a piece of paper and template out the profile here and weld a little patch in place here. And also this hole, I've got to fix that. Um, there's a little rust behind here, but, um, you know, just to make this look good. And then, as I mentioned, I got the, um, ducts, which, uh, connect the heater tube here up to the defrost. So, um, I'm hesitant to kind of close this up until I get those hose clamps on there. And even if it comes up and then I, you know, I've got to get the hose clamp on here where I'm going to put the adapter. So I have a one half to one quarter adapter that's going to go on here. And then one half hose, one, sorry, one and a half hose is going all the way down. Um, and I got some clamps also on the way. So that is the progress for now. Um, you know, Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much the progress. I kind of got to keep shoring up the inside here. I'll sand this down and um, seam sealer and kind of uh, get this front area here where this is a little messy. I've got to do the, the, the couple more repairs, or metal repairs, so that they all look uh, like this one. This here, as I sanded it, um, you know, some chunks started sort of coming out. This is the fiberglass, and so I have some regular uh, Bondo on the way, and I may just coat this with a cover, co uh, with a, a thin layer of that, and then I can shape this fender a little better and uh, get rid of some of these uh, sort of pock marks. Um, I probably need to sand the underside of this as well, just to get the uh, the little ridge off. So. All right, other than that, I think certain things are looking pretty good. I uh, took all the rubber out of here, tried to bend some of this back so that I can put the new engine seal in place. So, um, yeah, all right. Okay, fiberglass is on the back of that. And then what I did is I did rust reformer just on the back wall and over where the fiberglass bondo was so that'll prep me um said i put fiberglass up here where the light is put fiberglass down there where each of these um side pipes are also i did the final welding uh some additional welds and cleanup on the uh, front part of the um uh, heater channels where they attach here on the outside as well as here and then what I did is I fabricated this piece and I welded this in place and then I ground it down um, it was a bit of a messy also this was kind of the deep putty pocket here so when I ground this down it kind of made a divot but you know this is eventually going to work fine it probably should be smoothed out a little bit with regular Bondo um, so uh, that's what I got going now. Um, so um, yeah, I, I, I just I want to finish the um, main parts of the body that just need repair. So you know I've got to do these two front pillars. Um, I've got to maybe do a little bit of metal in here. I need to get in there with the light and just see because I have some gaps. Um, but, um, you know, a combo of welding some metal on, maybe a little more fiberglass Bondo, and uh, this, eventually the seam sealer, which I think is a more rubbery stuff, black, um, that's going to go all around the seam uh, here of the heater channel. And I think that should work uh, good in combination.